All right, ladies and gentlemen, we have our top three drivers from the championship class, the national class winner of the USF 2000 championship race, our second of two races here this weekend in St. Petersburg. We had a fantastic race that you were able to see. Uh, the driver's doing a great job. This is the, the opening run up the Mazda Road to Indy. These drivers looking to follow in the footsteps of competitors like Joseph Newgarden and, of course, uh, Tristan Bautier. They're starting out here in the USF 2000 program, and should they win the championship, will win a fully scholarship ride through Mazda to run in the Pro Mazda Championship. Alongside me here right now, we'll start with Scott Reddick, the national class driver, uh, who scores his fourth straight win of the year. Scott, the untouched thus far in our national class. Scott, it was a solid run for you out there. I'll talk about it a little bit. Uh, there was some carnage, but uh, you ran pretty strongly. Yeah, I mean, uh, my team, Alliance Auto Sport, they gave me an even stronger car today than yesterday. We made some changes, and it definitely made the car much better. I've got to thank uh, the series sponsors, Peninsula Pipe Pipeline, Ally, Rev3, you know, my team, and uh, my other personal sponsors, PDI Communications, and Springboro Car Wash. Uh, they all came together and put on an awesome event. And, you know, my team members, Sir and Joe and Ron, worked hard all weekend. Thank you. Scott, thank you very much. We'll move now to a driver making his first uh, podium uh, appearance here for the USF 2000 Championship, a young Canadian of Montreal, Quebec, Canada. Uh, Jesse Lazar runs for past, uh, Racing Services. Uh, did a great job here today. He's been really strong all year long. He was quick in our opening round of the series in Sebring, but today was able to bring it home with his first career podium finish. Uh, Jesse, a good run for you. You've been really strong all weekend long, but uh, here on Sunday, you're able to get yourself right in the fight for the top five, and then of course, after uh, year on Slagetti went off, you end up in third position. Uh, tell the, the media here how you feel about the series itself, how things have gone for you over the first couple of weeks, and uh, how things went here today. Yeah, I am really impressed with this series. It's like the best series I've ever driven in, and it's it's cool how I can open up my first car experience here doing this series. And I did get pretty lucky during the race, but I just stuck in fifth, waiting for the fourth and third to fight. And then once they started to fight, I took advantage of that and got around them. So I really want to thank my team, all of this whole series, all the sponsors, Cooper Tire, Mazda. And I'm really excited to keep going forward and keep improving. We'll be actually going home to some races in Canada this year. So Scott uh, Hargrove and Justin Lazar are two Canadians. Looking forward to that. Moving now to the driver in second place here, I'll give you a little input. It's kind of interesting. Uh, Wyatt Gooden, who finished second today, actually got his start into racing, winning an online simulator event, uh, the iRacing event that gave him a full year of racing in the VW TDI Cup. He uh, showed his natural talent and won straight away, then moved into F1600 and won four races there as well, and then moved up to the F2000 last year and was a victorious in that series as well. Uh, we have no doubt he's going to find some success here. And, and two podium finishes here this weekend. Uh, a new team after Burner Autosport came together last year, but Wyatt, the team really stepping up with you and a couple of drivers here this year. Uh, a new team, so it's kind of coming together, unlike Kate that's been around for a long time, Afterburner uh, and yourself. A new team, a new partnership, and man, a great weekend this year. Two second, uh, this weekend rather, two second place finishes. Yeah, I mean, uh, four races in, we didn't expect to have this much success as a team. You know, we were new and, and uh, new engineers, new mechanics, new drivers. Um, but the owner, uh, Tim Walsh, he was just on a mission. So uh, I got to thank him for giving me the opportunity. And, and uh, definitely my sponsor, Perfect Pedal, who came on board in this last race and, you know, obviously doing well and, and getting success uh, is only going to make it easier for me. So I'm just really happy for my sponsors. Uh, fantastic weekend. and. Uh, you know, we got through the, the start cleanly both days. Uh, the first one was a little hairy, but just to come out second in my first street race, uh, the first two street races is fantastic. Way more than we had hoped as a team, so I'm just really happy for my team. All right, folks, as we start, uh, the race gets above us here. We'll let you have a look at that, but uh, again, they're obviously all race, race fans, right? They're all looking over their shoulders watching, watching the race start here for the World Challenge. We're going to move now to the final driver in our, in our podium here, and it is Scott Hargrove who did a fantastic job again here today. Uh, was able to go into Sebring for the opener and win the first race and finish second in race number two. Comes to St. Petersburg, actually sweeps the weekend for Cape Motorsports. Uh, pole position, full points, uh, two race wins. Uh, the season off to a perfect start here uh, for Scott Hargrove. And Scott, you got to be absolutely pleased coming to a street race like this, knowing 
but you had a lot of competition from your teammate Yale Alvarico who ended up getting in, in instance in both races. Uh, for you to be able to leave here with such a point lead, you must be absolutely thrilled uh, heading to the night before the 500. Absolutely, that was a bit of an understatement. I, I can't believe the good luck that we've had and uh, the way things have kind of gone our way. Uh, I owe it all to K Motorsports with the Taylor Racing. They've given me a great car all weekend. I just did did my job and they did their job and it, it, it worked out. So uh, I couldn't be happier. And the, the series is, it did a great job. I love racing here in the downtown St. Pete with the for this Peninsula Pipeline USF 2000 race. So. I was, uh, I'm glad to be the winner of that race and uh, I can't wait to uh, go to Indy and experience it all for the first time. Folks, if you want to talk to any of our drivers individually, they will be here. Otherwise, this is our podium and uh, we hope to see you all at Lucas Oil Raceway in May for the night before the 500.